This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at Gibbs Free Energy. Gibbs Free Energy is the energy associated with a chemical reaction that can be used to do work. Delta G, which is change in Gibbs Free Energy, must be negative for a spontaneous process. To calculate delta G for a reaction under non-standard conditions, we can use this equation. So in this equation, delta G is the change in Gibbs free energy, delta H is the change in enthalpy, T is the temperature in Kelvin, and delta S is the change in entropy. Next, we're going to calculate the change in Gibbs free energy for this reaction where calcium carbonate decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide and we'll see if it's spontaneous at a temperature of 500 Kelvin. In this table, we have all the data that we need to calculate the delta G for the reaction. We have the standard enthalpy change of formation values and we also have the absolute entropy values. So first, I'm going to calculate the change in enthalpy for this reaction using this equation here. And I get a value for the change in enthalpy of positive 178 kilojoules per mole. Next, I'll calculate the change in entropy using this equation. And I get a value of positive 160.8 joules per Kelvin mole. So I'm now ready to calculate the delta G for the reaction. Here we have the change in enthalpy, here's the temperature in Kelvin, and here we have the change in entropy changed to kilojoules. Because the change in enthalpy is measured in kilojoules and the change in entropy is measured in joules, we can either change the enthalpy to joules or the entropy to kilojoules. So in this example, the change in entropy is in kilojoules. And when we do the calculation, we get a value for delta G of positive 97.6 kilojoules per mole. Because the value for delta G is positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous at 500 Kelvin. Next, we will calculate the temperature at which the reaction will be spontaneous. For a spontaneous reaction, delta G must be negative. Therefore, it must be less than zero. So delta G is less than zero equals the change in enthalpy minus T times the change in entropy. We can rearrange this equation to get T equals the change in enthalpy divided by the change in entropy. And that gives us a temperature of 1107 Kelvin at which the reaction will be spontaneous. Next, we'll calculate the standard Gibbs free energy for a reaction. Because this is calculated under standard conditions, we have a temperature of 298K, a pressure of 100 kilopascals, and all substances are in their standard states. The standard Gibbs free energy of reaction equals the sum of the standard Gibbs free energy of formation values of the products minus the sum of the standard Gibbs free energy of formation values of the reactants. In table 12 of the data booklet, you can find standard Gibbs free energy of formation values. So next, we'll calculate the standard Gibbs free energy change for this reaction. In this table, we have the standard Gibbs free energy of formation values. As you can see, the value for oxygen, because it's an element, is zero. So next, we're going to use the equation that we looked at in the previous slide to calculate the standard Gibbs free energy change. So I input the values for the products, multiplying by the coefficient in the balanced equation, and I input the values for the reactants, and I remember that oxygen is an element, so it has a value of zero. Therefore, it doesn't appear in the equation. That gives me a standard Gibbs free energy change of negative 1,300 kilojoules per mole. Because we have a negative sign for the delta G, the reaction is spontaneous at 298K. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.